So um, one of the issues that I've been having or we've been having as a group is trying to get each other's songs and, and have the most recent version of songs that people have. And so I was working with the backups that you guys provided me. Um, so I, I created a Dropbox account and I have the, the, the backups that you gave me and, and I'll show you what I did with them. But the problem that I was trying to solve is how do multiple musicians share their songs easily with the OnSong app. And here's what I came up with. Uh, number one is to create a Dropbox account that we can all share. And so I've created one and I'll share the user ID with you and password and we'll go in that in a minute. But it's pretty simple. What you do is you're in your drop in your OnSong you'll um, export all of your your songs as a zip file to this Dropbox account that I'm going to give you. And so you put yours up as a zip file and then you look at the other folks that have put their songs up as zip files and you just import them back in. So um, you'll see in a moment here that I have all of those um, files done for you. Um, so let's just kind of go through the steps here. But I'll have a video that goes in and shows you exactly what to do. So the first thing is, is just create a Dropbox account to share. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm going to share the whole user ID password because when you're in OnSong, you want to log in to a Dropbox account to be able to utilize it, to import and export. Um, I tried setting up the folders for sharing, but it only works through the web interface. It doesn't really work well. That You can't sign in, log in, and share it. So I just decided to create a simple box, a Dropbox account. I'll provide the user ID password, and you'll in on song you'll log into that account. Okay, so that's the first step that I've done. The second thing is that these are the instructions that you would go through to export your songs to Dropbox. Now I've already done that for each of your backups. What I did is I um, restored a backup to each of your backups to on song one at a time, and when I had your backup into OnSong, then I did these steps here. I exported the songs as a zip to this common Dropbox account. And the steps I did were to select the songs up in the top left corner and then click on the on so all songs. And at the bottom right, there's a little plus sign. I click that and then I would go into the export Dropbox. And at that point, I would uh, sign in to the Dropbox account that, I sh that I'm sharing. Now, if you're already logged into a Dropbox account that is your private Dropbox account, there's a little um, tag at the bottom that says you can sign out. And so you would sign out of that and then log into this common Dropbox account. And then once you're in there, um, you're going to see a folder that says all songs from David, Wayne, Scott, and um, Jewel. And in that folder is where I'm putting all of the all songs uh, that is the zip format. So once you've set up that you're exporting it to this folder and you have the uh, zip file format selected, then you would export to that zip, uh, you would export to that directory, that folder. Now you don't need to do that because I've already done all that for you. But in the future, if you're going to work with other um, guys, uh, you, you, you might go through these same steps to update all of the exports with the newer songs that you've added in or whatever. But so now what we would have if everybody went and exported their songs as a zip to Dropbox, we would have four or five zip files of all your songs. Now I've already again I've already done that. So the only step that you need to do is the importing the all songs. Now the importing of these songs is different than doing the recovering from a backup. If in all songs, if you import a backup, it replaces everything you have, all the settings, all the display, everything. And it replaces it with whatever the backup is. And that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do here is import all the songs that were provided by each other into the app and you'll have the opportunity to say whether or not you want to update the songs if they're exactly the same or replace them or make them duplicate and I'll show you all that. But the steps here are click on the songs again, go to the all songs and at the bottom 
right is the plus sign. That's the same in, in both steps. But this time you're going to click Import Dropbox. And again, either you will sign out of your current Dropbox account or use the Dropbox account when you, when you export it, that you would be logged into the right one. So you'll navigate then to the folder that says all songs from David and Wayne and Jewel and Scott, something like that. And you'll click in, you'll click on what zip file to import. Now, I've already imported all of your archives into one common um, um, zip file or one, one common all song. So when you look at these files inside of this folder, you're going to see Wayne's backups, Jules' backups, and David's backups. And then you'll see one that's that says common. Uh, it has all the all the all your names on it. If you select that one, you'll get the sum total of Scott's, Jules, Wayne's, and David's. Um, so you can just do that one. Um, and when you click on the import in the top right corner, it's going to ask you whether you want to do this as an update. So if you have the same exact song, it'll update your version. Or if you want to just keep a duplicate, and that way if they're a little bit different, you can kind of look and see what the difference is. Or just uh, skip it. Don't import it if you already have the exact same song. And then you can cancel just like, oh, I don't want to do this at this time. So that's all there is to it. Um, but I'll show you. Following this, I'll show you the video of actually going through these steps. Okay, I'm going to be recording now um, what I do in the OnSong app. So let's just look at quickly how would we log in and, and um, sign into Dropbox and export our songs in the zip file format. So first off, I would click Songs. I'd go to all songs, and then down at the bottom right corner, there's a plus sign next to it. it says local, remote, and then there's a plus. So what I'm going to look at is exporting to Dropbox. Now you'll notice that I'm already set up at the very bottom of this page that came up. At the bottom it says uh, Dropbox all songs from David. I'll click it right there. And what, what it does, if you click this bottom um, part that says Dropbox All Songs. You'll you'll see that it has choose an export location. If you draw, if you click on the Dropbox, notice in the bottom left of this dialog it shows sign out. So if you're currently in your own personal Dropbox account that you're doing your backups to, just sign out of that for the temporary, and then sign into the account with the user ID and password that I provided, and you'll then see. The folders. I have a folder for all songs from David, Jewel, Scott, and Wayne. That's where we're going to be going to. And when I asked you earlier uh, to share your backups, those are in the backups uh, folder. So for now, we want to choose the all songs from David. So we say choose. Now this is how we're, we would be doing the, the exporting again. So on this on song archive, notice that the, I have the, that checked out. That's checked. And then I can also look at this, this wrench here at the bottom and make sure that you have it set as a zip file. Okay, so then once you've done that, we're now going to, we could, up in the top right corner, we could click on the export. Okay, now I've already done that, so there's no necessity for me to do that. But if you're going to go forward and use this with other people, this is how you would export your current um, set of songs as an archive file in zip format. So that is taking care of the exporting. Now what we want to do is look at, okay, how do I import? That's really straightforward too. So you would go to your songs again, go to your um, all songs, and you would again look at that plus sign, and then now in import go to Dropbox, and notice that um, we are still in the same Dropbox account that we were in a little bit ago. So down in the bottom right corner, uh, you can see where it says select all, deselect all, and it says sign out. Okay, so um, we could. I just I just signed out. So uh, let's go back to um, import Dropbox. Now I have to log in real quick. Um, 
So let me pause the video. Okay, so I've logged in and now you see that I'm again in the Dropbox account and I want to select the all songs from David and Wayne. Now, if if all I was doing was um, wanting to get David's all songs or Jules or Wayne's, you see those three different all, all song zip files. But what I've done for you is I've already done these imports into one on song um, set of files and and then I, I archived everybody's that was already joined together as one zip file. So if you select that, all songs, Scott, David, Jewel, Wayne, then you can click the import in the top right corner. And then you get a chance of saying whether I want to update, duplicate, skip. And for right now, for our purposes, I'll just say skip. And so away it'll go. And then you're done. And then now you have, at least I skipped. If you would have said duplicate or update or whatever your option was at the end of it you'll have all the songs that you're looking for so i hope that helps um, in the email that i send to you we'll have the user id password of the dropbox account